stuff we'll be fussing, but uh, it's more like an inspirational talk and um, no, uh, no fancy zero day stuff. So, uh, fuzzing is about uh, feeding random data or randomized uh, data uh, to some kind of application in order to make it crash and then to find bugs and then to find vulnerabilities and then to sell to the Illuminati or whatever. Uh, but um, as I said, this is not about these vulnerabilities I found, this is more like an inspirational talk, so hippies can put your guns down. Uh, so the whole story started in March when I met this girl called Katie, who is unfortunately not here, he is, uh, she's uh, sunbathing at the bottom lake, probably. Uh, and uh, I started thinking that I uh, realized that, uh, holy shit, uh, this uh, relationship is starting to get serious. So, uh, we are still together, and this is a personal record, actually. So, applause, please. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I started to realize that uh, the kind of uh, research I did back then uh, was, you know, uh, this uh, very complex kind of stuff, uh, logical bugs in highly complex software, we had some examples. This type of research requires you to uh, look deep into the application, uh, stare at IDA all the time, uh, understand what uh, those bytes in those EXEs does uh, do. Uh, and uh, I started to realize that uh, if, I, if I want to date this girl, if I want to go to the movies uh, and all the other uh, human stuff, you know, uh, then I will not have time for this kind of uh, research uh, because it takes lots of time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and as I, uh, I felt that fuzzing is boring uh, because, uh, you know, it just, okay, I can produce random data, that's nothing cool in it, mm -hmm. and uh, then I can get some crashes and pray, I can find bugs like that did uh, with the, you know, that lame stuff with Apple uh, remote desktop, uh, remote format spring exploit in the login screen and stuff like that, no one cares about. Uh, but I, I, I much more like this kind of stuff. But then I read this paper uh, about uh, fuzzing uh, from that guy, Ben Mudge, who probably, uh, most probably, has some Hungarian ancestors, but he lives around New Zealand or something. And uh, if you are into fuzzing, if you are interested in this topic, I highly recommend you to read that mail he sent to the Daily Day uh, mailing list, uh, because uh, I think this is the single most inspirational uh, papers or, or mails uh, I've read uh, ever. Uh, in topic of fuzzing, but uh, maybe it's in the top three of most inspirational uh, letters ever for me. Uh, so, Charlie Miller said that he uh, wrote five lines of Python and uh, he found lots of bugs, but uh, in the reality, uh, and what I realized, is that uh, fuzzing is much more than five lines, five lines of Python, it's much more than uh, just uh, spilling out random data. Uh, first of all, if you want to do proper fuzzing, you have to maximize the code coverage that, you, that your fuzzer runs through and uh, you have to minimize the test set in order to waste, uh, not to waste, uh, CPU cycles because uh, you have limited set of uh, resources, you have some uh, machines, you have some CPUs and you uh, want them to uh, work as efficiently as they can. Uh, so, if you start to uh, write tools and start to monitor the behavior of the program that you are starting to fuzz, you are really getting into really uh, computer science stuff that you learn in the university and didn't make sense uh, at that time. But if you start uh, fuzzing, you realize that it's very useful stuff and you can use it in practice uh, to actually find bugs. 
Also, scaling is a, a big problem. You have to scale hardware, uh, you have to gather as many resources as you can, and uh, it will not, uh, of course, uh, fit into one, two unit box. You have to scale software for that hardware, and most importantly, you have to scale management. Uh, because uh, if you have multiple targets, for example, and you have a bunch of CPUs at, at your disposal, and you have to partition uh, your space uh, for calculating, then you want to say, okay, for the, I don't know, 60% of CPUs should work on this problem and the other 40% should work on that problem. And how do you, you solve that? That's a really interesting system administration problem. Also, uh, you have to monitor uh, first uh, your, your runs uh, and also uh, your um, test cases. And how do you do, do that? You can, of course, uh, use standard debugging tools like Dr. Watson on Windows, GDB, <coughs> Windows Debugger, but uh, the really interesting binary inter instrumentation stuff uh, like uh, Dynamo Rio, Pin, Frida, or DiceStorm, uh, which are much more efficient uh, than those standard tools, and uh, you can make really exciting uh, things about that, like uh, counting all the edges you traverse through and uh, uh, ca uh, collect uh, really interesting information. Uh, and also you can make uh, really interesting statistics uh, from across your cluster. Uh, but uh, what protocol you use for that is really up to you. You can use, of course, Sage, HTTP, some kind of SQL or no SQL, maybe some message queue, uh, but these decisions are uh, at all really interesting because you have to understand all technologies behind those tools uh, really deeply. Uh, and after you uh, have uh, found something, you can uh, you have to, of course, uh, do some root cause analysis because uh, that's basically goes down to reverse engineering that's uh, not, not really something that you can really um, automate I think or at least I didn't uh, have any uh, good thing to come, to come out to automate these things but this is also uh, not boring part of, of fuzzing so all in all I, I would say that uh, fuzzing is learning and uh, I think my big mistake was uh, that I uh, didn't realize this before. Uh, fuzzing is a way to uh, get you interested in new technologies. Like, uh, you know, I'm a penetration tester by day and uh, I do all my ordinary stuff, 8 hours. But uh, technology is evolving and fuzzing is a great way to use that technology that uh, comes up. You can. Uh, comes on big data or cloud or anything <coughs> fancy or no SQL, uh, you can uh, just uh, spill the passwords right here uh, and, and learn new stuff. So uh, right at this point uh, my fuzzing machines are working if my colleagues didn't shut them down. <laughs> Actually we did. Uh, but uh, for a good cause, that's another story. Uh, but uh, you know, even if I'm sick, even if I'm sleeping, even if uh, I'm with Katie, my fast farm is working and it's doing, uh, doing good, uh, good stuff. And as I uh, make it better, as I improve it, I learn a lot. So my advice to you is get life and build a fast farm. Thank you.